How's it going, y'all? Today, I'm gonna to take you on a virtual tour of one of the trendiest neighborhoods in the entire city of Minneapolis, and that is Northeast Minneapolis. I'm excited to show you around. Thank you for being here. How's it going, y'all? This is gonna be fun. Thank you for watching. I've been trying to make this video for, I don't know, at least a week. And one day I got rained out, and then the other day I was gonna start it, and turns out my 360 degree camera just stopped working on me. So that sort of took the wind out of my sails. But here I am, I'm gonna do one that isn't a 360 tour, but down the road there will be some 360 tours. But anyways, how's it going? My name is Jesse Lynch. I am a real estate agent from right here in the Twin Cities. I was born here, I was raised here, I go away, I keep coming back, I love it here. And this YouTube channel is devoted to basically all things living, working, eating, drinking, buying, selling, investing in real estate in the Twin Cities. I'm gonna do two videos a week, every week. I'm gonna do my best to do that anyways. So do yourself and me a favor, subscribe to this channel and click the little bell to be notified every time I put up a new video. All right, enough of that. Let's dive in to Northeast. Right now I'm gonna get into my truck. I'm gonna hop on Central Northbound. I'm gonna go from St. Anthony, Maine, and I'm gonna drive all the way up to basically Lowry. Central Avenue, quite literally, is the center of Northeast. And not only geographically, but sort of culturally. So many of the best restaurants in the whole city are basically right on Central or within a couple blocks of Central. And Northeast is like a really popular area right now and that's because it's a perfect combination of affordable, trendy, convenient, and safe. Northeast is probably known most for a handful of things, which is restaurants. I swear, it seems like a new restaurant comes up every day, and it's amazing. There are more tap rooms and breweries in Northeast than anywhere else in the state, and art. Northeast is home to many artist studios, media agencies, and world famous Art World, which takes place in Northeast Minneapolis, and it is the largest open door art gallery, sort of art crawl in the world. I said arts are huge in Northeast Minneapolis arts are responsible in large part for how Northeast Minneapolis looks today how it feels today the type of businesses that came in and so forth right behind me is the Northrop King building and Northeast Minneapolis is home to one of the biggest open studio tours in the entire world for artists and this building right behind me is called the Northrop King Building. It plays a big role in Art of World. This building is home to over 300 artists and small businesses. It's a really cool building. It's a great place to do a photo shoot. If you need a rather small space, you know, for a studio, an art studio, or just to run your business out of, this place is a really great place to do that. And here's something that's not a secret at all if you know anybody from Northeast. There are so many breweries and distilleries too, but it's basically a beer drinker's paradise. There are more breweries in Northeast than anywhere else in the state. Okay, now I'm gonna jump into a map. And what I really wanna do with this is rather than showing you all the businesses that are there, I wanna show you the neighborhoods, basically like where you would be living, you know, if you moved to Northeast. And so I'm gonna show you basically just why you might wanna live in each neighborhood. All right, let's dive into this map, shall we? Okay, so what I did here basically was I took a Google map because I wanted you to be able to see the streets and I overlaid this neighborhood map over it so we could kind of look at the geography and basically what makes up these boundaries. If I just showed you this map without the streets, it would be a little bit confusing, but hopefully this is helpful and shows you, okay, east of Central, but north of this parkway is Waite Park. South of the parkway is Audubon Park, for example, okay? So hopefully this is helpful. I just want to cover this. Overwhelmingly, Northeast is, it's safe. The reason people love it is because it's convenient. Central goes all the way through here, down here, 
crosses the river, turns into 3rd Avenue in downtown. Hennepin Avenue cuts through here. Hennepin also crosses the river. It remains Hennepin, so very convenient to downtown. And also, I started this whole video out down in the St. Anthony main area, which technically isn't even northeast, but the truth is a lot of people think of it as a part of northeast or so close in proximity, and it is just northeast of downtown Minneapolis. I got into my truck and I drove up central right along here to basically right around here just past Lowry to give you a sense of what central is like. And again, some of the absolute best restaurants in all of Minneapolis are gonna be kind of right along Central and all the way up here. There are all sorts of them. And so Central is a great anchor street for the entirety of Northeast. So I'm not gonna break down every neighborhood specifically because a lot of them, they share a ton, okay? But a few neighborhoods that I wanna start with are Waite Park, Audubon Park, Wyndham Park, Sheridan, Botno, and Holland. These are some of the biggest neighborhoods, as you can tell. And as far as buying a single family home, this is where most of them are in here. The kind of things that you're going to find in St. Anthony West, St. Anthony East, Beltrami, those are going to be condos overwhelmingly. And then the likes of Marshall Terrace, Columbia Park, Northeast Park, and Mid-City Industrial Area, they tend to be more industrial. There's just generally not a whole lot of houses. As you can tell, Columbia Park, it's like a few roads, a golf course, so many trains right here and so many train tracks. It's incredible. And likewise with Marshall Terrace, it's a little bit sparse and the train tracks kind of hog up a big chunk of it. But there are some very nice houses here and it is generally a good place to live. Mid-city industrial area, I mean, overwhelmingly. You can see here the average home price is 243.5. It's the lowest in Northeast. And that's because there's hardly any houses over here. And if there are, they're in the middle of a bunch of industrial stuff. So generally, they're not that sought after. The next up is Columbia Park. And as you can tell, again, there's not that many houses here. They're right by a ton of train tracks if there is a house here. But you know what? If that doesn't bother you, then this could be a great little pocket to buy a house in. If you don't mind trains, then this can be a great spot to find an affordable house and still be in Northeast. Okay, and then one other thing that I really want to talk about is the Northeast Minneapolis Arts District. That basically is part of Marshall Terrace, part Holland, and part Botno. Maybe a little bit of Sheridan, maybe a little bit of Logan Park, but overwhelmingly it goes like right around here. And you know, Northeast was founded on blue collar families, blue collar workers. There were tons of factories. There's the mill, the Pillsbury A mill is down here. And so a lot of folks who worked in these warehouses and these factories, they lived in Northeast. And slowly but surely the factories, they left this area. And so what was left was a ton of warehouses and large spaces, which eventually was taken over by artists. And artists turned them into fundamentally artist studio spaces and it became an absolute hub for arts and that connection to the arts is still a huge part of the identity of northeast minneapolis and i would say that that has also been sort of infiltrated by breweries and tap houses and the like but all these neighborhoods truly are really great neighborhoods with great houses you're going to find craftsman houses one story one and a half story two story one story one and a half story bungalows two story craftsmen and just some really great houses overwhelmingly the houses here were probably built from 1900 to maybe as late as like 1940 but you're not going to see a lot of 1950s ramblers in here it's it's going to be earlier bungalows craftsmen that kind of thing overwhelmingly and now there i will say that there are some new builds that are going in here because the area is out after all right y'all i hope you enjoyed that virtual tour of northeast minneapolis it truly is one of the best places that you can be buying a house right now for basically those four reasons i said it is affordable safe trendy and convenient but if you're thinking about buying a house here you got to do yourself a favor and me a favor too if i'm being honest you got to call me text me dm me on instagram dm me on facebook leave a comment on youtube mail me a letter whatever you got to do get a hold of me and we'll look at some houses and i'll show you around the city and if you're still not sure you're ready yet subscribe to this channel click the bell and watch some of my other videos i break down as much of the process as i can so you can hopefully begin to wrap your head around whether or not now is a good time for you to buy a house all right thanks for watching love you bye-bye Thank you.